The following Let's Play has been rated perfectly fine to watch. Any attempts to break the game are for entertainment value only. However, if any typos happen to be found... <laughs> Hello everyone! Welcome back to this game! When we last left off, we beat those four levels more than once in a couple of cases. And we have finally reached the moon. And... I thought you blew that up, Mr. Piccolo. Heh. <laughs> Yeah, why did they blow that up twice? Like seriously, they blew it reasons. up. Reasons. In... Very, very good, very logical reasons, which I will make up later. Feel free to, and at any time. Also, I already put the like, password for the color in. It's right there. You can look at it. We're not going to waste time putting it in now. Instead, we are going to go to every the everyone's favorite level, the moon. I also aliens. thought that Link dealt with that. Uh, it's a good thing this one is not going to crash into the planet or ha have an evil face. Well, if you keep jumping on it, there's no telling. <laughs> also, we got RoboDuck here. Not to be confused with Gizmo Duck. No, of course not. Is Gizmo Duck in this game? Um. Well, I don't want to spoil anything. Well, if Bubba Duck's in this game, Gizmo Duck's gotta be in this game somewhere. Speaking of spoiling, be sure to point me out in the direction of the secret treasure so we can get the super duper special ending. In the NES version, it's all the way at the top of the ship and to the right across some uh, bottomless pits with enemies hovering over it. In this version, we'll probably still be able to find it. Oh goodness, those are spikes. They are. Space spikes. That means they're extra classy. Now I could swear that I remember those big aliens from one of the episodes. It's entirely possible. They went out in space on more than one occasion. Yep, yep. I am so glad those blocks respawn. It is a boon to duck kind. Alright. There's Webigail. This stage, um, also had the distinction in the NES version of having the most superfluous items to have to find. Well, it's looking like that might be the case here. Extra life! Awesome! Woot, woot. Woot is still a thing, right? Um... Possibly? I have no idea. That works. Huh, apparently I can step on the bare edge of this without getting hit. You keep pushing your luck, mister. No, I'm good. As a side note, there's a sequel to this. You ever played the sequel, Rouser? I have played it through, yes. Although, unfortunately, I don't own a copy of that one. Mm -hmm. Pretty sure it was a, there was a Game Boy port of it, too, so eventually I'll be Let's Playing it. Eventually. Very cool. Yeah, the sequel gets a lot of flack, but it was actually pretty good. It came very near the end of the Nintendo's... Wow. Wow. It's a hidden, note the finger quotation marks, treasure. Well, that was easy. That Bullock better not fall. 
is crap, crap, crap. Whoa, I did not see that coming. That is unfortunate. Screw that path. You might have to take that one. It we shall like, see. Uh, the, it looks like the items are in different places in this version. But that's... that's... yeah, yep. that's... that's nah. a thing. Okay. Well, got the key to the UFO. Let's take it out for a spin, crash it into someone's pool. Sure, why not? Where is the UFO? Was it down there with Webigail, or is it somewhere else? You standing in it, buddy. Oh. I can only assume that the key referred to that uh, hole door. The infinite void of space. I better hold my breath. Yeah, I'd uh, pogo continuously here. Ouch. You know, I don't think those blocks are going to fall all the way down. I think it's just a little bit. I don't know. You can never trust floating blocks. That's I how Bowser not get a... makes all his money. I better not get a game over after finding an extra life and this is the last place. I have no. the Tiger Rock. Oh, there we go falls a little bit at a time. Well, good to know. That's still kind of nerve-wracking, though. Uh, now, these platforms always gave me the most trouble as a kid. They were in different places in the other version, but they just have this weird pattern. Eh? Eh? Uh, I gotta go back now, don't I? Yep. Well, that's an easy neat way to go back. Not optimal, but it works. It should be somewhere in here. But everything's so changed around in this version that... Honestly, I'm confused. Um... Where was either Huey, Dewey, or Louie? Was he down a level? Probably behind that. There we go. Yep. It's on the right instead of the left. And I love that line. Bless right. me, bagpipes, indeed. Um. Do I gotta go back that uh, to that spot down there? You remember where you just were? It was past the falling blocks? Yeah. That's where you want to take the remote. You're right, this co item collecting is arbitrary. <laughs> Told you. You know, my buddy Guthrie, he's a big old boy, mostly Scotsman. He's always wanted to learn to play the bagpipes. He is, however, a great tuba player. So he's definitely got the lung capacity for it. This is probably not interesting to anyone. Sorry, sometimes my stories escape. Much moon dust. Oh, there we go. Gizmo Duck! Looks nothing like him. He's a bit squashed. Probably all of that gravity that they don't have on the moon. Crap, 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 crap. What are the Beagle Boys doing here? Moon stuff. Ah. Uh. Health. 
This is starting to become nerve wracking. Don't worry, we're on the home stretch. Now, mind you, there is a final level after this. Good to know. Also, boss. Yes, the Lunar Rat. He holds the green cheese of longevity. So much for longevity. He must not have eaten it. Well, I've heard of time is money, but this is ridiculous. hi -o. Ah, that's a lot of money there. What is that? Ten billion? Looks that way. I, I don't know. My eyes are going cross-eyed trying to count all those zeros. What a coincidence. Scrooge's eyes are going cross-eyed with an S on it. <laughs> all land clear. And now we're just throwing these treasures away. Yep. If you want to get back the treasures, come to wait, Rector wait. Uh, Duck Manor. Take a drink. What, here again? Surprise! Also, spelling and or grammar error. For Dracula. Nothing that way. Guess back to the boss room? Uh, yes. I'll just leave the color scheme the same. Or we could do this, hold on. Oh god, the lava's escaping. There, we'll go with that. Get one last time and while we're at it. Oh, this part again. At least I can fake these out. I've got 99 problems and 98 of them are blocks. Oh, we're right back at the beginning. On second thought, this color scheme is slightly blinding, so I'm just going to... throw in something. Timer. I shall pause the game while I'm throwing in something. Good call. Also good enough. I always enjoyed golf swinging those mummies' balls into them. That didn't sound right at all, did it? Apparently it's a tricky maneuver to do that. A bit. Because I just walked straight into them. I forget where the boss is. Oh, to the right. I think. You know I can't recall. I have trouble with my short-term memory. Yep, this was it. I had recognized those two pits full of rocks anywhere. Alright. Now this is gonna be a little trickier. I notice. Who's this guy? Dracula Duck. Because... Every game needs a vampire? Question mark? This isn't too bad. Is there a second form? There is not, but normally he'd be throwing those bats at different heights and vectors. Ouch. Congratulations, I took damage. 
I guess it depends on how high you're jumping at the time. That could be it. Okay, you know what? I was doing better just letting the bats drop all the way down. This is becoming unfortunate in a hurry. He's putting up a bit of a scrap. Not anymore! There you go. Okay, get ready. Jump and climb! Jump and climb! Climb like the wind, you magnificent mallard! And there was Glomgold. Yep. Oh god, it's a diamond explosion. Duck press. Scrooge remains the richest duck in the world. Daring explorer Scrooge McDuck has found the five legendary treasures, making him the richest duck in the world. Hooray! He even gets a medal for it. He needed one. Huey, Dewey, and Louie, hooray Uncle Scrooge. We're glad you found the treasures, but don't forget we helped too. Right, lads, I couldn't have done it without you. I really am the richest duck in the world. End. Everybody go, aww. They're priceless. Actually, I've purchased ducks before. Apparently in Virginia, you can only buy them in groups of six or more. That is interesting. So it'd be like the Brady Bunch of Ducks, I guess. Yep. So, that was DuckTales on the Game Boy. It was fun. There were some differences between this and the NES version, but... Overall, it was a pretty faithful port, all things considered. Yep. And there's nothing else after this. It's no credits or anything, which... Eh, makes sense, because Darkwing Duck didn't have credits, so of course this wouldn't have credits. Pretty sure Rescue Rangers didn't have credits either. No, but it had a robot. Yep. Looked... Strangely like Robocop, actually. <laughs> oh, good times. Uh, so, would you care to give some parting thoughts on this one? Yes. Yes, this was definitely a fun game. I can see why people enjoy it. Sometime I'll definitely have to try out the uh, remastered edition because that looks like awesome sauce. It does. Also, this game was a bit more difficult than I expected, considering I was playing on easy mode. Mostly the tricky jumps, I think. Yeah. Bit of a hit, hit detection problem, too, with a couple of those jumps. Yeah, I, I was gonna say, definitely the hitboxes had something to do with that. Trying to bounce on an enemy across a pit, only to die. I suppose I should do a full review of this, but I don't feel like doing that at the moment. Aye, aye. Anyway, that's all for that. Sir Rosser, thank you for joining me. It's been fun. It has been a pleasure, sir. Thank you for inviting me. You're welcome. You should really come back to the mag sometime. Oh, I definitely will. Especially with our new chat room. Which is still a work in progress, but still pretty nice. Nice. And to everybody who is watching, thank you for watching The End. <laughs>